Hi reception and welcome to my maths lesson. I'm so excited to see you today because today we're going to be learning something new and exciting. I think Miss Lebesque has already told you. But before I can start, I need to make sure that you're following the four rules of good listening. Are you ready? Good listening is sitting still, staying quiet, looking at the person who's talking and listening to all of the words. Now I can see that you're ready to learn. Before we can start, we need to wake up our brains and wake up all of those numbers that we know. So I'm going to show you lots of flashcards with numbers. They're not in the right order though. You need to shout out the number that you can see. Are you ready? Be careful I don't trick you. One. Four. Three. Five, sixteen, seven, eight, twenty, nine, ten, eleven, two, eighteen, twelve, zero. Six, nineteen, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, seventeen. Now we're going to sing a number song to help wake up our brains. You might have heard this song before, but if you haven't, don't worry, it's really easy to join in. All you'll need to do is count and use your fingers to count. Are you ready? Switching on our singing voices. some of the words that she said that you might hear in my lesson today. Have a little think. Some of the words that you might hear today are half, halving, the same, share, and equal. I love halving because halving helps me to share with my friends. Miss Lebes showed you what half looked like last week. Do you remember what half a pizza looks like? And what did we need to do to find half? You can press pause on the video and speak to your grown up. Half a pizza. I remember. 
get half a pizza, we need to cut it down the middle so that there's the same amount on each side. If I was to cut the pizza through the middle, I would have half and half. And that would mean that I could share with my friends and that it would be fair. Come and do an activity with me so that we can learn all about halving. This is my halving game. George has put two treats on the table. One, two. And he needs to halve two so that he can share between the dogs. I wonder what half of two is. Shall we find out? So to find half I'm going to share equally between two. There's one for that dog and then the next tree is for this dog. So we had two. How many treats has each dog got? This dog has one treat and this dog has one treat. That must mean that half of two is one. Let's check. Well done, fantastic. Let's try again. How many treats have we got this time? We've got one, two, three, four. Four treats. I wonder what half of four is. Shall we share them out to find out? One treat for him, one treat for the other dog, one treat for this dog, and one treat for the little dog. So we had four. How many treats has each dog got? One, two, one, two. That must mean that half of four is two. When we share out four, we have two each. Fantastic. Let's try again. How many treats this time? <gasps> There's lots of treats this time. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six treats. I wonder what half of six is. How many treats is each dog going to get? We've got six all together. Shall we find out? Let's share to find out. One for this dog. One for this dog. One for you. One for you. And one for you. Got one left. So we had six treats. How many treats has each dog got now? One, two, three. One, two, three. That must mean half of six is three. Should we let them eat them? Fantastic. And let's try one more time. How many treats have we got this time? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I wonder what half of eight is. Let's find out. Share them equally between two. One for you, one for you, one for you. One for you. Fantastic. How many treats has each dog got? What is half of eight? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Half of eight is four. Brilliant, fantastic work. Fantastic halving. See, when we share between two, we can find half of a number. Oh, did you hear that? I've just received a message. I wonder who it might be. It says, there has been some serious trouble on Fairy Tale Lane. It is really quite a shame. The little mermaid and her friend have found some magical beans and shells, but they are awful at sharing into halves. You clearly are the experts. Can you help them to share so that it is fair? 
fantastic. We know all about sharing. Come with me and help me to share the magical beans and shells for the little mermaid and her friend. To complete this activity, that my steps of success are to find out what the number is, the amount of beans, which is two, get two beans, one, two, I'm going to check that I've got two, one, two, and then we're going to halve two by sharing into the pots, one in here, and one in here. And then to find out what half of two is, we need to find out how many we have in this pot. How many do I have? One, and we have one here. That means that half of two is one. So I need to find out what the number is, count the right amount of beans, and then halve them by sharing into the pots. And then I find out the half of two by finding out how many is in one pot, which is one. Next one is four. Number four, we need to halve four magical beans. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. What is half of four? Let's share between the two pots to find out. One for the little mermaid, one for her friend, one for the little mermaid, and one for her friend. Do you know what half of four is? One, two, one, two. That's right. Half of four is two. Let's do it again. Take these beans out. What's the next number? The next number is six. We need to have number six. Six beans. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six. What is half of six? Let's find out and share between the two pots. One for the little mermaid, one for her friend, one for the little mermaid, one for her friend, one for the little mermaid. And one for her friend. What is half of six? Let's find out. One, two, three. One, two, three. Half of six is three. Today we've been learning all about halving, which is to share an amount between two. I have a challenge for you. I have three different numbers on here. Do you think you can find out what half of four is? What half of eight is? And what half of ten is? You might not have some magical beans at home, but you might have some fruit that you could use to share. Or you could use some coins. It is up to you. Remember, the steps to success are to identify the number, the first number is number four, then eight, then ten. Then you need to get the right amount of objects. So if you're using coins, you'll need to get four coins. And then you'll need to share them equally between you and one of your grown-ups. Thank you for watching my maths lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, halving is sharing between two. So that both have the same amount. See you soon.